fi fire idea. It brings a lot of talent from around the around the country. Fantastic, yeah. We got guys from Las Vegas, guys from um, where Sam Sword from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I mean, just everywhere, man. Smash global. <clears throat> Wish they would have hosted a qualifier in Japan and we could have got some of those guys back out here. Right? Our, Japan actually still might be in the States after Frostbite uh, and then Civil War and Frame Perfect. They still might be here, but nonetheless, that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and jump right into game one here and lose the semis. Dark Shad, 8 bit man. JK Lapis, aka used to be Naoto. Oh my goodness. JK, please get on stage. Yeah, Ava man actually doing a good job pressuring Vanetta, which is pretty difficult to do. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Oh, but JK just kind of forcing his way on stage with Bayonetta's uh, Witch Twist. Oh, we oh. out. I think he actually got himself killed. JK yeah, tried yeah. to save him, and I think that was one of the deciding factors in killing Naoto. Yeah, he tried to get out there and break up that commotion. Um, as you know, Rob just with the fantastic air maneuverability can really be everywhere at once out yep. there, and I don't know, just kind of overextended a bit. But, I mean, you can still got a whole nother stock. Yeah, I feel like uh, Ape Man is going to be very proficient at gimping Little Mac just because Rob can go that deep and pretty consistently, too. Absolutely. JK is going to have to play a bit more safe here. I know more times than not, people are like, you know, I play a character like Bayonetta at high level. I don't really have to worry about too much, but projectiles aren't your friend. And Ape Man, his uses of his projectiles are phenomenal. Absolutely. <laughs> Lap is going for this up smash. Oh, and the KO punch onto Ape Man. He just a little right bit of overkill, it. but... Oh, my goodness, and he eats an uppercut of his own. And now <laughs> Lap is sitting at one stock, but JK holding on to three. I mean, now, this is the percent for something crazy to happen for Bayonetta. Absolutely. Now, Ape Man should be pretty used to the, uh, the MAC matchup. I'm not sure if him and Soul are from the same part of Florida, because Florida is just so right. meant. It's broken into two or three different sections, but nonetheless, I know he has some MAC experience. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, wow. And again, this wall of, like, jabs from Little Mac. Actually surprisingly difficult for a player to get around. Nice. The dash attack getting Dark Shad off stage. All right, Ape Man trying to find his way past JK here. What? And I like what he did there. He just threw out that laser beam, wanted to uh, demand a little space. Needs a little breathing room. Oh, is that all you got? Oh, and Ooh. Oh, but oh, oh, but wait, what? Ape Man living, Rob being very heavy, and actually JK is going to lose his stock for that attempt. Oh, that was so fantastic. Just overall, the situational awareness there was just through the roof. And again, JK, or Ape Man, holding on to the stock, which is definitely what he needs to do. That was crazy. Nice. Gets the up air right there. Good My man punish. Lapis, absolutely, with the nice landing punish with the up smash. Like I said before, a lot of people don't... Uh, a lot of people don't think that stages like this are good for Little Mac, but actually it's the other way around. This stage actually is kind of good for Mac. Wow, he Ape Man looking for that spike. And uh, Blue Team forced to share stock here. Oh, he's going deep for it, but Rob is going to be living. Once again, very heavy weight. Yeah, that, that worked on uh, that worked on Kesev. That doesn't quite work on, uh, on Rob here, unfortunately. Yeah. Nice. I like what he did there. He understood he did a little bit too much in the air and wanted to recover back onto the stage. Wow, good call from JK with that witch time, but not going to get too much other than a couple hits in. No, sir. Nice forward throw. Fantastic. There's the conversions I was wondering about. We didn't wow. quite see those in the previous sets, but throwing into each other. I mean, I'd like to see more of that. Oh, my goodness, and I'd like to see more up tilt Shoryu. Yeah, beautiful conversion from Dark Shed, getting that nair on the platform and setting up JK for that kill. Uh-oh. Oh, oh wow. yeah, we out, we out. There wasn't anything you could do about that. Yeah, he, perfect he timing. Meat. Yeah, he perfect timing. Meat. And even if it wasn't like perfect timing, he was dead. Like that <laughs> that hitbox on the dare is so immense. They're just he was in a disadvantageous spot. Yeah, it was a it was a rough day for Little Mac today. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like the like the Rob and uh uh Ryu picks from uh from Ape Man and Dark Shed. Like, they can kind of just, like, brute force their way through uh, Lapis and JK's kind of strategy. Yeah, because, you know, Mac and, and Bayo, they're, they're finesse characters. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where, like, characters like Ryu and um, Rob, they just have these huge hitboxes, and they just swing and clear out space. Yeah, not to say there's no finesse in there, because there definitely oh, yeah, is. Oh, well, no, definitely not. Well, yeah, because I've seen some of the stuff Rob can do at high level. There's definitely a lot of finesse, but I'm just, like, overall, right. like, generally speaking, their hitboxes are so immense, and they're so aware of each other. That <laughs> Okay, Ape Man. Goodness gracious. And they're so aware of each other that when they swing these hitboxes, they don't run into each other. But what Lapis just ran into there, I believe, was a, a gyro toss? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a gyro toss. And uh, Ape Man sniped his jump out, so there's really nothing he could do. Yeah, he bit the dust early. I mean, that wasn't even 30 seconds. Bit the dust. 
Yeah, and as I was saying earlier, like, just Rob is such a competent character at edge guarding, especially Little Mac. Yeah, seriously. Oh, nice. The bat within saving his skin there from a, a potential upper opportunity. Yeah, it's definitely something JK needs to watch out for is how, like, he commits to these options. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. What an early KO Whoa. with that up air. 81%, and there's not really a lot of rage on 8-bit, man. Fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, kind of questionable DI, but all that up air is going to do it. Giving them a little taste of their own medicine, taking them off the top. Yeah, as I was saying, every time JK, like, commits to that up B, 8-bit uh, man is under him, ready to punish. That is true, and I know the blue team, if they're going to go down, they're going to go down swinging. Yeah, Probably, it's definitely not looking good for Lapis, though. Absolutely not. This is looking more like a body bag here, if you will. Ooh. I do appreciate uh, the stage, though, for Bale, because what we're starting to see a lot more of it, or a lot more in Witch Twist because the overall curvature and the overall height of the platform and ratio to, like, the actual stage itself. And so Witch Twist can kind of catch you even when you think you're safe. Yeah. And right there, Lapis securing a kill with that upbeat, but... It might be a little bit too little to, to bring themselves back in the match. Yeah, seriously. And Naoto, Lapis, excuse me, having a hard time, man, getting his feet back on center stage here. The abuse is real. Uh-oh. Off the mark there, but he could have punished that Shoryu. Oh, what a read! Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, man, that was get your library car revoked type reads, man. Like, what are, you, what are you reading in the back of the library type stuff? Oh, oh. we out, though. Oh, my, we're not out. Interesting. Yeah, good DI from JK to live that. Right. Uh oh, Apex Man's in a bad situation, but he manages to SDI down and out of it. Nice. Lapis here coming to JK's aid. He did a little bit too much in the air, and of course, as you know, the more things you do, the more landing lag you had. Yeah, and with it, a character who can punish as hard as Ryu, you definitely don't want to land with that lag. Definitely not. Looking for uh, something there with the gyro to interrupt Little Mac's recovery. That's actually a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that will stage spike him. Yeah. Okay, JK kind of struggling a bit to find this kill here. He's kind of stuck in between finding kills and then preserving uh, Naoto's stop. Or Lapis, excuse me. I keep forgetting this dude changed his name. All right, JK. There needs to be a new rule. Like, once you're, like, so many years into Smash, you got to just keep your tag, man. Okay, can we just talk about how the blue team has just reversed this? Because, uh... I don't mean to say anything, but look at the stocks. Yeah, the stock. JK got an insane combo on 8-bit, man. Share stock immediately. Very nice. Oh, the and another one? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. The tables have completely turned here. The blue team right now in, the, in complete control. Yeah, definitely even the game back up. Nice. Uh-oh, you might want to get off the left side of the stage, or right side of the stage there. Excuse me. Whoa, did we just see a back air attempt? We've seen a back air attempt two in a row. Pushing the Mac meta. Let him know, you know what, his aerials do have some possibilities, man. You can do some stuff with They these. do exist. I'll yeah. say that. They exist, man. I don't just run around and throw some master tags. JK going for this deep edge guard against ape -It man. Oh, he's looking for it. He needs this kill. Yeah, he really does. Nice. There's a Nair right there. Followed up with the dare a little off the mark, but eats a back air. Nair off stage. Lapis has just been playing super impressively this last stock. He's hardly taken any damage. And, on, like... Blue team has the lead because of it. Yeah. And what he's doing is he's not really going for kills. He's just going he's going for disrupts. He's just oh. throwing like one or one or two jabs. We got the 1v1 here. Uh-oh. Oh. The oh. lot's on the line here. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. And Holy the up smash Lee. is going to take it. Holy crap. Ooh, Ape Man definitely very happy that it turned out in his favor because that was, that was a tight situation. People forget that up smash actually has a pretty solid scooping hitbox. It, yeah. it can grab you from far away. And I think Lapis tried to uh, outmaneuver the gyro because the gyro uh, hit would have pushed him into the up smash. So he just decided to stay more towards 8-bit man. And he just, I don't know if he knew that matchup or not. I mean, we do have some Robs in Chicago. Like, I think both Scotty plays Rob. I don't know if he plays him to the effect of Mr. 8-bit man here. Yeah, it seemed he, he'd like side beat into him and just got punished for it. But we're running it back to Lilat. Uh, blue team definitely, if they can play like how they did in the latter half of that, yeah. uh, they can very easily control the pace of the match. Yeah, they just need time to figure um, like their dynamics out and just like the situational awareness and just how the stage will affect their combos. Exactly. Because we've seen like one or two combos from the blue team in the last match, like a quick throw into an afterburner kick, possibly a quick throw into a wood twist, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Right. So I, I really like the fact that Lapis understands that you don't really get a lot of team combos with these two. And so he's playing more of like the disruptor role. Like his jabs yeah. break up a lot of commotion. Oh, nice. Yeah, a bit man looking for the combo, but not very easily easy to get that kind of solo uh, uh, beep boop combo in a in double situation. Yeah, absolutely not. 
nice weight on the air dodge, and that is almost the stock. That seriously. Oh, oh. Okay, nice. Didn't charge it all the way. Didn't need to, though, because he found himself access to a back air. My man Lapis is out of the picture. Meanwhile, we got a, a offstage match. Oh, and JK actually missing the ledge with that side B, yeah. and he's going to lose his stock for it. What in the hell? That, that was just some wild light right there. And actually, Darkshad is going to lose the stock to 8 Man's up air. I like this. Both sides kind of staying neck and neck with each other, not allowing either side to kind of pull ahead. Yeah, not at all. Because as we've seen, you give one side a lead, they, I mean, they'll go up two, three stocks on you. Once again, great SDI from 8 Man. When you're playing a big body like uh, like Rob, when you get caught in those bayonetta combos, you really need to have your SDI game on point. Absolutely. Speaking of SDI game, there it is. A bit man with the fantastic DI getting out of that witch twist combo. Oh, oh. but find himself in a, another one. Yeah, JK just being relentless, not letting A bit man land on the stage at all, reading his air dodges too. Nice using the upper to give himself some coverage there. Unfortunately, uh, Dark Chat put his body on the line to try to. Make sure his teammate came back safely and unfortunately ended up getting his stock taken. Yeah, and just like uh, we saw at the second half of that last game, uh, Blue Team has really found their footing. And Lapis has the KO punch here. Oh, never mind. Had it. Oh, Slip Counter has him off stage. And nice movement from Lapis to get back on stage. Yeah, that was that was pretty scary. That could have been a very rough spot for him to try to make it out of. With a character like Rob being able to just pelt you with projectiles as you're coming back. I understand Jolt Haymaker's a strong move, but it... Right. it oh, what wow! The? He just hit him through the stage. And uh, hey, Pitman was not expecting that. What in the heck? Nice. Oh, really dominating uh, lead here for blue team. Oh, okay. Darkshad just answering with the Shuriken. Getting the kill. And... Oh, ho, 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 my goodness. Yeah, that up air, he needed that to kill if he wanted it. That he did. Nice. Input Hadoukens. Give me some space here. Oh. <laughs> Will the climax keeping what? him in place? <laughs> this poor man. No forward tilt for you. The jab trying to disrupt his combo so they chain into something else. JK looking for it. That's not going to be enough. Ryu's a heavy guy. Yeah, kind of a desperate uh, focus attack there. Going to get punished. All right. And Lapis and JK putting themselves on the board for this one. Fantastic job there um, by JK and Lapis to not lose focus. You know, right. getting bopped the way they did in one of those games, it could be very detrimental to, like, your mental health. And in a game like doubles, there's so much going on. You want to make sure you're mentally stable going in. Yeah. They adapted very well, and it's, they kept their feet planted. All right, but once again, we have a situation where uh, Lapis and JK need to get the reverse 3-0 on this. Easier said than done. Yeah, definitely. Especially this late into the bracket. Let's go ahead and move right into it. Going back to Battlefield for this one. Oh, really good roll, actually, from Apit Man. Like, recognizing that he was going to charge that F smash all the way and not taking any shield pressure from it at all. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Okay, I didn't want to see an early stock gone like that, but if anybody's going to take a stock that early, it was going to be Bayo. Yeah, definitely. Down throw. Nice. Goes for the forward air. If that was actually the up throw, uh, Rob, oh, yeah, up throw, Rob's tend me. to opt for that uh, up throw earlier on in percent so they don't stale their down throw for later. Yeah, the other one is the uh, kind of like the pile driver. Yeah. Grab looks so painful, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, Dark Shad being has... taken for a ride. Oh, and then puts the heels on him. That's going to do it. Yeah, Dark Shad is out of there. JK, really great conversion. But Dark Shad just jumping right on top of uh, Lapis' shield and... Going for the Shuriken sure and getting the kill. Yeah, seriously. There's like three characters on the stage that can kill you in one hit. And a, and a robot. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Again. Which twist? He's going to the top again. Gets a one-way ticket. Oh, my goodness. But then he gets a ticket stamped. There it is, man. Dare into Shoryuken. Darkshad on fire. Yeah, great stuff from Darkshad. Getting these stocks. And Ape Man holding on to his so that they can maintain a lead here. Yeah, easier said than done. I know, like I said before, to be this late into the bracket, it's, it's hard to get a lead in and keep it, especially when you're fighting against this high of uh, caliber players. Ooh, Ape Man going for that up air, but JK landing on the platform instead. Ooh. Was that a missed input there from Lapis? Just charge neutral special. I mean, it has some armor to it, but yeah, I have not seen, that much. I have seen Little Max like, go for it against like kind of weaker multi-hit moves to try to just armor their way out of situations, but mm. wow. All right, going to get that kill on Dark Shad, and then the side B to finish off Ape It, man. And to hold the KO punch. He was kind of looking for it, though, on the right side of the stage. Um, he was trying to go for, like, jab, one, two, and then, like, you air dodge, and then he KO punches you. 
But it seemed like they knew what they were doing there. Nice. Hadouken gets yes. him out of the KO punch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Again, good avoidance from Ape Man. Always being able to fall, like, fall out of these combos. Definitely very well versed in the matchup as far as SDI goes. Definitely. You have to be. I mean, being high level and you don't know how to SDI to Bayo's combos. I mean, Esam wasn't talking about this for no reason. Yeah. You got to start listening to that man sooner or later. Even even if he does have Esam opinions, man. Yeah, I mean, you know. Ooh, nice setup from Ape Man, getting that spike. He, he was in such a bad spot there. There wasn't really much he could do against Rob. See, but they're so used to, Mac Maze are so used to, like, hugging the stage and going for the up special because the up special gives them that overhead coverage, like that hitbox twists through the stage. But Rob can just float above it and get that spike. Yeah, Rob cares none of that. He doesn't. Oh, <laughs> they're just hanging out on the ledge there. Down tilt. Nice. Try to catch the roll in with the uh, up smash. JK there with the follow for the grab. Oh, the fantastic air dodge. And I don't know if, like, Dark Shad has grinded out the Bayo matchup. Ooh. I, I remember at UGC, I believe Captain Zack beat him, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, Dark Shad definitely has, uh, has some Bayo experience in, in the Midwest, so. Ooh, Dark Shad on his own against uh, a pretty healthy JK and uh, Lapis. It's going to be really hard, especially when JK is pressuring him so well with these safe pokes. Definitely. It's uh, it's gonna be a lot harder from now to try to find access in between this uh. Oh my goodness, this two v one situation. But when the stakes get too high, just throw out that up tilt, man. Nice. There's another Hadouken. Oh. I mean, if he can manage to like hold on to his stock and get a lot of rage, he definitely can get these early, super early KOs. That he could. If anybody's gonna be able to bring this one back really quickly, quick, it's gonna be my man Darkshad, but he has to figure out a way to get his feet on the ground. Nice Ooh. job there using the focus attack to kind of cushion the blow. But nice job from JK using that forward air to break out of it. Nice. A good movement from Darkshad. Down tilt and air. Try to outmaneuver JK off stage using the focus attack. Oh, wow! He set him up with the forward air, so he had to recover high and mm -hmm. fall into Little Max forward smash. Yep. Great team play there from my. Uh, from and, Aoto and JK. And there's like the chemistry we were talking about. We weren't quite seeing it before, but now we're starting to see it. We, more, more times than not, when people talk about chemistry, they think of like, they think of follow-ups. They think of like yeah. back throwing is something, up throwing is something, but sometimes it's more than just that. positioning yourself is enough. Exactly. <laughs> JK's still rocking out, man. He's feeling it. And we are going to a game five. Wow. I would never have thought in a million years the way uh, – the way 8-Bit Man and Dark Shad just dominated those first two games, I would have thought that they would have got a clean 3-0, but guess not. Yeah, Lapis and JK have just made some phenomenal adjustments. Yes, sir. We are going to Luigi's Mansion for game five. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'd be down, but I don't know if the stream would be down. Because, you know, the, uh, not all the music uh, makes YouTube happy in Smash 4. Looks like we're going to Omega Suzuka Castle. Okay. Home sweet home for my man Dark Shad somewhat. Yeah, Darkshad definitely focused on this one. Definitely. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, right out the gate. JK coming in with the afterburner kick. Witch twist. Nice. Puts on some extra damage, too, with the uh, forward air at the end. Yeah. When Darkshad managing to land with the focus. But Lab is kind of cornering Ape Man there with, those, uh, with that Little Mac jab. Something we don't really see too much of. You know, Little Mac cornering an opponent. Especially an opponent with, you know, fantastic air capabilities like Ape Man's uh, Rob. But one thing I forgot to Ooh. touch on was that Rob doesn't really have a hitbox on his up special. No, so he does not. If you can keep him off stage and just really apply a lot of pressure, he'll run out of field, which means he'll have to start using, like, back air to push himself back on stage. And uh, with that being said, the things that Bayo are blessed with out there, she can just really eliminate a stock quickly. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, with one half of your team having to stay on the ground not really having that edgeguard capability, yeah. it's kind of harder to capitalize on that. Team with Little Mac is like teaming with the toddler. It's like, where is he? What is he doing? All right, good tech from Ape Man. Unfortunately, Dark Shed not being able to tech that one. No. Oh, oh I see your force smash, and I raise you. Assure you can. Hell, I raise you to the blast zone, man. See ya. That, that Shuriken is such a good bait, too, because he whiffed one, and then they ran in to try to punish it and just got hit in the face by the second. There's nothing you can really do about true Shuri either, although you can witch time it. That's pretty much it. You can witch time that. Yeah, Anything else, though, is just uh, fails in comparison. Yeah, its invincibility is insane. Really unparalleled. Nice. There's another forward tilt, keeping Dark Shad at bay. Uh-oh, empty hop. Nice. Comes right in with the back throw. Trying to keep Lapis on the right side of the stage as close to the ledge as possible. 
Oh, and miss input and getting the Hadouken instead of the Shuriken. I know Ryu mains just like kick himself when stuff like that happens. Yeah, that's that's gotta hurt just to see it happen. Like I wasn't going for up tilt Hadouken, I was going for up tilt Shoryu. Whoa! The wood switch itself was just enough to take him off the top, didn't even need the up air. Yeah, I mean with 176% rage from Bayonetta, that's definitely bound to happen. Definitely. And <laughs> also 176%, you're definitely bound to get hit by any up air from Rob. Alright. Alright, I'm liking uh, 8 -Bit Man's like usage of his projectiles here, just trying to like create like space around Dark Shad so he isn't so pressured. Definitely. And again, another miss input there on Dark Shad's behalf. I don't know if maybe the stakes are getting high or oh. he's getting nervous or what, but uh you can't miss those confirms, dude. Your Ryu. Ooh, nice. I like yeah, nice gyro just kinda stopped JK in his tracks from edge guarding him. Yeah, he had to stop that combo because an another fair or two and uh Lapis wouldn't have been able to make it back. JK nice. looking at on Dark Shad, he knows that Dark Shad's kind of like in a, a tough spot there. That he is. Oh, uh -oh. is this going to be it? Oh, oh, my goodness, and almost killed his own teammate. Abe, man, a little off the money there. Yeah, definitely trying to... Ooh, what? what? Oh, my goodness, gets to buy one, get one free. Dark Shad just leaned back, and he just kicked both of them. I can't believe that the... <laughs> Ryu's hitboxes are insane. Oh, still not quite enough to take him out. Lapis, I know he's killing himself because of that. Breathing new life back into the red team. This is yeah. a complete turnaround. This is devastating to watch. Definitely. But that up smash from Lapis is going to take it from Dark Shed, and now 8-Bit Man's by himself. Okay, this is where 8-Bit Man, Man can really excel. Now he doesn't have to worry about a teammate. He can kind of move around freely as if he were in singles. But at the same time, he doesn't have that teammate to back him up, and nobody's going to stop him from getting comboed by Bayonetta. Yeah, as we see Exhibit A. Ooh, going low for it. He wanted the spike. I mean, oh, oh, oh he almost out of fuel. Okay. You know, he's almost out of fuel. Okay, nice. Very solid job. Oh, but then try to spike Ben as an afterburner he's kick. Back throw into wow. up special. The Superman okay. takes the game. Really good conversion off there. Again, just good placement uh, by what Lap is standing in the middle of the stage, recognizing that, hey, if he gets a grab, I'm in position to get that KO. That was the synergy I was looking for. I mean, it started off a little rocky for him, but, you know, they, they kind of knuckled up. Yeah. You know, and they slowed it down. They adapted the way that they should. Um, obviously, just even looking at that last kill, that other special kill off the top, if had we seen more of that in the beginning of the set, it would have been an easy 3-0. Yeah. But it looked like they needed time to kind of get comfortable with each other. Like I said before, JK's teamed with Little Mac, but I think every Little Mac is different. Hell, every character yeah. is played different, but Little Mac is definitely one of them. You know, you got like aggressive Macs and you got like defensive Macs. So. Yeah, very patient.